in the race to create the ultimate AI chatbot, Anthropic has unleashed its newest creation, Claude 2, an AI chatbot that's shaking things up and is said to outperform ChatGPT. Anthropic, founded by former OpenAI research executive Daniela Amodi and her brother Dario Amodi, is causing quite a stir. They might just be giving OpenAI a run for their money. Claude 2 is their second generation AI chatbot, and boy, is it a game changer. One of the most impressive features is its ability to summarize massive amounts of information, up to 75,000 words. In comparison, GPT-4, developed by ChatGPT, can only handle 3,000 words. This means Claude 2 can take a huge pile of data and transform it into a concise summary. Just imagine how handy that would be for researchers, journalists, students, or anyone who needs to quickly absorb a ton of information. You could practically read an entire book in just a minute or grasp the key points of a complex report in seconds. Mind-blowing, right? Advancements in Capabilities of Anthropic's Claude 2 Now, you might be wondering what sets Claude 2 apart from the rest of the AI chatbots out there. Well, here's the deal. Claude 2 is built on a deep neural network, just like ChatGPT, but it boasts some unique capabilities that truly make it comparably better. In fact, it has surpassed its predecessor in various intelligence and reasoning tests. For instance, it achieved a remarkable score of 76.5% on the multiple choice section of the bar exam, surpassing its previous version score of 73%. What's even more noteworthy is that Claude 2 outperformed the average human score of 74%. This achievement reflects the system's exceptional abilities and positions it as a strong contender in the realm of automated test taking. Moreover, Claude 2's capability to successfully tackle the multiple choice portion of the US medical licensing exam highlights its potential to revolutionize the medical profession. The ability to pass such a rigorous exam showcases the system's advanced knowledge and comprehension skills, offering promising implications for the integration of artificial intelligence in healthcare. Moving on to coding, Claude 2's performance is equally impressive. It scored a staggering 71% in the Python coding test, a significant improvement from its previous version score of just 56%. This demonstrates Claude 2's ability of writing code at a professional level. With this level of coding prowess, Claude 2 can contribute effectively to various industries that rely on programming expertise. In addition to coding, Claude 2's math skills have also witnessed commendable progress. Its performance in grade school math problems improved to 88%, up from 85%. This advancement showcases Claude 2's proficiency in handling complex mathematical concepts suggesting its potential value in educational settings, aiding students in tackling challenging math problems. The creation of Claude 2 requires an immense investment of time and effort from the Anthropic team. Their dedication is evident as they assembled a talented group of 30 to 35 individuals, singularly focused on building and refining Claude 2. Anthropic's dedication to safety in developing Claude 2 is truly commendable. By feeding Claude 2 with up-to-date and diverse information that aligns with societal expectations, Anthropic aims to ensure responsible AI behavior, preventing the generation of harmful or even offensive content. In their internal evaluations, Anthropic found that Claude 2 performs remarkably well in providing harmless responses. They claim it is twice as effective in this aspect compared to its earlier version. However, it would be great if Anthropic could provide more clarity on how they measure, quote, harmlessness, end quote, to address any doubts or concerns users may have. Interestingly, Anthropic recently released a white paper that sheds some light on their evaluation process. They conducted tests to gauge harmfulness by exposing Claude 2 to various prompts, including ones related to jailbreak. While Claude 2 generated fewer harmful responses compared to its predecessor, Claude 1.3, there were still instances where harmful content was produced. Although the occurrence may be relatively low, it highlights the need for ongoing vigilance in mitigating potential risks. Comparison between Claude 2 and ChatGPT When we compare Claude 2 to its rival GPT-4, we encounter some interesting differences. Both AI chatbots face common challenges, 
particularly in dealing with hallucinations. These occur when chatbots generate answers or details without evidence or logical coherence. It's worth noting that Daniela Amodi from Anthropic acknowledges this challenge, emphasizing that it affects Claude 2 and other large language models. However, Anthropic is actively working to address this by enhancing Claude 2's accuracy, consistency, and comprehension. They are committed to building a more helpful and safer AI chatbot, always striving for progress. Now let's delve into the comparison between Claude 2 and ChatGPT, which is built on GPT-4 and widely regarded as a top AI chatbot. ChatGPT excels in generating clear and diverse text on various topics and possesses the ability to retrieve information from the internet. This is an advantage that Claude 2 currently lacks. However, Claude 2 has its own set of strengths. It outperforms ChatGPT when it comes to producing longer texts and summaries, making it particularly valuable for complex tasks that require in-depth analysis of vast amounts of information. Moreover, Claude 2 surpasses ChatGPT in intelligence and reasoning tests, such as the bar exam and coding challenges, showcasing its mastery of logic and problem-solving skills. Anthropic has set ambitious goals aiming to develop a quote, next-gen algorithm for AI self-teaching, end quote. That would pave the way for virtual assistants capable of answering emails, conducting research, generating art, books, and more. We have already witnessed glimpses of this potential with models like GPT-4 and other large language models, showcasing the exciting possibilities that lie ahead. You'll be pleased to know that Claude 2 offers not only remarkable performance and safer outputs, but also stands out when it comes to pricing. Let me explain further. OpenAI's ChatGPT API comes with a rather steep fee of 12 cents per 1,000 tokens, which is equivalent to around 750 words. That can add up quickly, especially considering that ChatGPT can occasionally produce harmful or inaccurate outputs. However, Anthropic has taken a different approach with Claude 2. They offer the Claude 2 API at the same price as its predecessor, Claude 1.3 which amounts to just 0.0465 cents per 1,000 words generated. That means you can enjoy all the benefits of Claude 2, improved performance, longer responses, and safer outputs at a fraction of the cost. It's truly a great deal. However, I should mention that the beta version of Claude 2 is currently only available in the UK and the USA. It can be accessed on both the web and through a paid API, but with limited access. This limited availability may change in the future, but for now, it's primarily focused on users in those regions. Anthropic's Valuation In the competitive landscape of AI development, Anthropic finds itself not only competing with OpenAI, but also with other emerging startups like Cohere and A121 Labs. These companies are actively engaged in the development and commercialization of their own text and image generating AI systems. However, Anthropic has managed to attract significant support, including a notable investment from Google. Google has shown its confidence in Anthropic's potential by pledging a substantial $300 million investment, securing a 10% stake in the startup. Additionally, Anthropic has received investments from prominent entities such as Spark Capital, Salesforce Ventures, Zoom Ventures, Sound Ventures, and the Center for Emerging Risk Research, as well as undisclosed venture capitalists and angel investors. Since its launch in 2021, Anthropic, led by former OpenAI VP of Research, Dario Amodi, has made remarkable strides in funding. With a total of $1.45 billion raised so far, the company's valuation stands in the single-digit billions. While this amount may seem significant, Anthropic recognizes that it falls short of its estimated funding requirements. To bring their envisioned chatbot to life, Anthropic anticipates the need for a substantial $5 billion over the next two years. A considerable portion of the funding required will be allocated to support the computing resources necessary for Anthropic's AI models. Their deck indicates that they rely on clusters equipped with tens of thousands of GPUs to train their models effectively. Given their ambitious infrastructure requirements, Anthropic estimates that approximately $1 billion will be needed solely for infrastructure investments within the next 18 months. As we look ahead to the future of Claude 2, there's a lot to be excited about. Anthropic has an exciting roadmap of capability improvements planned, which they will gradually roll out in the coming months. These enhancements will make Claude 2 even more powerful and accessible to users worldwide. 
Anthropic's focus goes beyond just chatbot technology, as they are also venturing into other projects like vision models and in reinforcement learning models, expanding their impact and their potential. It's important to note that Anthropic is not the only player in the AI chatbot industry. Other companies are also working tirelessly to improve their models and develop new ones, resulting in a highly competitive landscape. The market for AI chatbots is predicted to experience explosive growth, with its value projected to reach a staggering $102 billion by 2026, creating ample opportunities for those who can create superior AI chatbot solutions. The future of the AI chatbot industry is brimming with possibilities. We can anticipate new breakthroughs and advancements on the horizon. Please feel free to share your insights in the comments below. If you enjoyed our conversation, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more captivating AI content. Thank you for joining me and until our next discussion.